Oakwood nightmare. It's our number four story tonight. It's a disgusting mess. Many people are furious about, but why exactly is raw sewage flowing into a river many use for swimming, some even for fishing? Investigator Simon Shaked is live tonight in Ann Arbor getting answers about a backup and who exactly is responsible, Simon? Alan, a lot of people on edge, about 300,000 gallons of sewage backing up, yet the city says most of it will not end up in this water supply and there is no public health emergency. As tranquil water flows towards the Huron River and deer pass through scenic nature, the sudden appearance of police caution tape has many on alert. I'm really concerned about, you know, the people that are probably swimming or kayaking in the river. Beyond the wooded trails, where some love to fish and kayak, what you don't see is plastered on the city's website. A bulletin warning of raw sewage overflow as of Sunday morning. This is the first I've heard of it. It's not, yeah, it's not really not good news. City workers first got a hint of the problem when a manhole at the U of M Arboretum started backing up. People could want to swim in there or try to go fishing in there. So I think it's really important that they get the right information if it is unsafe. We don't really know how much made it to the Huron River because there's quite a bit of land between the overflow location and the river. Crews have since discovered 3,000 feet of rope and an uninflated sewer plug were the cause. A contractor's mistake sending 300,000 gallons of sewage into Dow Prairie and some of that flowing into Huron River. Anything that flows down the Huron River ends up in the lake. Um, what we hope is that the natural features of the land uh, will filter out the contaminants that were uh, part of the overflow. We're told cleanup will continue through tomorrow and the state of Michigan has been notified. So far, no reports of anyone getting sick. Alan, back to you. Pretty disgusting mess out there, Simon. So who gets the bill for all that cleanup and do we know where it will all end up? Yeah, as we heard, some of that could potentially end up in Lake Erie as for who gets the bill. The city is now paying for that cleanup, but they are holding, hoping to go after that contractor in the end of all this to get them to pay the tab on all this messy cleanup. So we'll have to see what happens there.